Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Roadtime Media, and today we've got a brand new review of Delta Heavy's Midnight Forever. First things first, this video was indeed sponsored by the Bowtide Gang, you, the channel members of this, well, channel uh, that vote every week on which video you want to see. So if you want to be a part of that voting, you can join today down below. But yes, Delta Heavy is here with their third studio album, dropping just five years after their sophomore album back in 2019. This UK duo has been a mainstay in the drum and bass scene for over a decade now. In that time, they have very much solidified their style and tone into a very streamlined production. And having released four projects up to this point on Andy C's RAM Records, a Delta Heavy has now ventured into new territory by self-releasing this newest album. No longer under the guise of an overarching label, Delta Heavy has seemingly free will to do whatever they want on this latest project. And it would seem like their heart's desire is to do a lot more of the same. Considering how long these guys have been producing for, they have obviously crafted a sound that is very unique to them. Certain drum patterns and synth pairings feel like classic Delta Heavy and is almost instantly recognizable when you hear them. But that knowing comes with a bit of a shadow side to it. This album is very much a Delta Heavy album through and through. There are very little tonal variations or sonic detours that this record has to offer. And for some people, that's a huge upside. They like that core sound and want to hear more of it. But for me in particular, I needed some more variety. At just shy of an hour in runtime and at 15 tracks in length, there is a good, I would say, three fourths of this record that are pretty much tracks that are indistinguishable from one another. Midnight Forever, Get Down Tonight, and END have pretty much identical drum patterns, melodies, and vocal styles. Delta Heavy really loves the drum pattern and they use it over and over and over and over again. And with these tracks in particular, I don't really feel like any of them really justify the need for vocals. Haley May is fine on Get Down Tonight, but the other two tracks kind of use these TikTok-esque, more like robotic style vocals that really don't bring much life into these tracks. But I say all that with the underlining notion that these aren't bad songs. I don't think they are fantastic, but they're pretty like fine, serviceable drum and bass tunes. There really isn't anything that I can pick out from these tracks and say, oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. It just kind of, is for the most part. And yes, there are tracks like Delirium that have these kind of different instrumentation, like the electric guitar lead or tracks like uh, Nocturnal that have the kind of vomit step synths here and there. But even those elements are kind of overshadowed by the constant and repetitive drum pattern. It's like there's no escape from it. And there are tracks like Deep Down or Babylon that have a bit of a lighter touch on the production side, leaning more towards a liquid drum and bass style rather than a more specifically dance floor. And within the holistic track list, they do a good job of mixing things up tonally, but are again, kind of just the same thing with just a slightly different paint job. And honestly, if it wasn't for punching holes and bad decisions, I don't think I really would have bothered to return to this album a whole ton. Both of these tracks are larger sounding, denser cuts that are genuinely great tunes. They, yes, follow the same drum patterns, but feel entirely unique because there's just something more happening outside of just the drop sections. And maybe it's because these tracks here feel more more heavily inspired by Chase and Status' sound design, but the more kind of intense, moodier tones are clearly Delta Heavy's strongest points on this record. More than anything, I think I was just surprised to hear Delta Heavy be so standardized on this album, considering that they released this as a self release and wasn't under the guise of a label, I feel like they had more chance to experiment with either tone, sound design, or genres, but uh, chose to keep things pretty steady. And I will say, it's clearly working for them because the streaming numbers have been great so far with the singles that have been released, and from the earlier views online, people seem to enjoy this as probably the uh, favorite overall record of theirs. But ultimately, for me, I think this album was just too safe. Delta Heavy stayed very true to who they were, but maybe true a bit too much for my liking. With that, I will give Delta Heavy's Midnight Forever a Bowtide 6 out of 10. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of these tracks, this album, anything in between. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.